This is lesson two, Decentralized Autonomous Corporations. And in this lesson, we're going to be taking a look at a unique concept and a way of visualizing what exactly the Bitcoin network is and how it differentiates itself from traditional corporations. Let's begin. A decentralized autonomous corporation can be thought of as a corporation which functions outside the involvement of human control. It is essentially owned by no one, operating autonomously, and is controlled by an incorruptible set of business rules. And when we say incorruptible, that is, the set of business rules is derived from the architecture of the protocols or the corporation's source code itself. Bitcoin is an incorruptible corporation in that anyone can see exactly what the protocol is designed to do by analyzing its source code and it's truly a first of its kind decentralized autonomous corporation. It's a corporation in the sense that it does have employees except instead of human employees it now has machine employees the miners of the Bitcoin network and it even in a sense has shares units of Bitcoin themselves can be seen as shares. These decentralized autonomous corporations are typically implemented as publicly audible open source software, much in the sense of Bitcoin. Now, these decentralized autonomous corporations are essentially uncheatable protocols. That is because they are open source and they are not obfuscated in their source code. Utilizing narrow artificial intelligence agents, these protocols can derive production functions from, such as in the Bitcoin mining case, full nodes, which are housing and verifying transactions and being compensated for them accordingly. Furthermore, these organizations are characterized by bottom-up controls rather than top-down controls. And when we say this, we mean that the network must come to a consensus on changes that are to take place before anything happens. The majority of the network must agree on changes to the protocol to take place before any changes are made. Now this really brings us full circle to an evolution of what we see as a corporation. Traditionally corporations would comprise human actors and very top-down controls. But with this innovation of Bitcoin, we're still seeing a semblance of a corporation but it is a very different form of corporation. It is a decentralized, autonomous corporation that is owned by no one and transparently audible in its functionality. It cannot cheat its own nature. These decentralized autonomous corporations have automation at the center and humans at the edges. More interestingly, the humans at the edges may become replaced by machines once smart contracts which are currently in development are implemented. This brings us to, the, to our conclusion of this lesson and if you're interested you can go ahead and read our analysis of this corporate edge evolution at diginomics.com slash evolution of the corporate nucleus and this is something we would highly recommend as it is the underlying transition that this Bitcoin technology promotes that no longer are humans at the center of the corporate nucleus, but machines are the ones producing the capital of the corporation. And they are also adequately described as the employees and soon to be the customers when smart contracts are implemented. That's it for today. We'll see you in the next lesson.